welcome back. So, I've uh, confirmed my pin out here. Uh, I have the, uh, I got a 12 volt battery, which is kind of funny because <laughs> you have to hook up a battery to start up a battery. And I've got uh, this guy wired up. Uh, so I got a circuit breaker on here. I will just flip that on and it's wired up to the two um, connectors here. I can show you that. It's on those two ones, which happen to be pins. We're on pin 18 and 19, which is a negative side relay. And we are on pin 7 and 8, which is the uh, pre-charge relay. So we're going to turn that on. And in order for any voltage to come out of that connector down there, we need to have the uh, was it the maintenance re uh, fuse or whatever that I'm missing. So I kind of made my own. Um, these are just regular old-fashioned, uh, you know, they go in your meter meter probes that I cut up. They were, the tips had broken off of them. So if you look in there, there's supposed to be some big spade. You know, some big spade connector that goes down in there. You can kind of see the pins for that. I don't have that. It's missing. It's the big disconnect fuse. So, these guys happen to fit perfectly down in these little, like, index holes. It's actually the back side of the connection, but they slide right on in. Perfectly nice. So I kind of got them in like that. I got a fuse in there. It's only, it's 10 amps, it's just, just to get it up and running. So yeah, we've got that in there. And we're going to pause it, and I'm going to go put this into the tripod here. Okay, so now I've got the phone in the tripod here. And what we're going to do is flip on that circuit breaker down here. So if you listen, you'll hear a click. Except the cicadas are pretty loud. I got the garage door open for more light. It's also a little warm in here. We're up to uh, 85 degrees. <laughs> here we go. You ready? Here, I'll wait for the cicadas to kind of die down. You ready? Set. Did you hear the little clicks? So I have both the pre-charge relay and the um, ground relay negative pack turned on. So I'm going to go and probe the pack here. Backwards. But, as you can see, it's at 385 volts. So I was really worried about the battery pack being discharged or something, because this is out of a wrecked leaf, and I don't know how long they had been driving around, you know, before it got wrecked. But they must have... After it was wrecked, they had to plug it in because I can't imagine. This is over, this is four volts a cell. Ninety-six cells times four volts is three hundred eighty-five volts. So they're sitting at four volts a cell each. So this pack is fully charged, which was one of the things I was worried about is that you know it was dead. So I got that on there. I'm going to turn the the circuit breaker down here off, which will kill power to the precharge resistor, precharge relay, and the DC relay, ground relay. You can see it kicks off pretty instantly. Looks like there might be a little bit of a capacitor somewhere. Probably the uh, uh, bulk stack measuring circuit. But yeah, um, turn it back on. Uh, she is fully charged. I was not expecting that. I was expecting this pack to be dead or, you know, halfway charged, but it is fully, fully charged. So, yeah, that's great. I was actually worried about having to charge this thing up, but uh, I don't need to do that. I think it can just sit. Good kill power. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I gotta get the uh, the CAN bus talking to it and see if I can read out. Now they know that they're four volts a cell. I should be able to find that data in the, the that uh, info in the CAN packets and display it. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I. I am completely shocked that it's fully charged. Um, yeah, I was expecting it to be dead, or, or worst case, damaged. But uh, yeah, no, it, it looks good. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm still surprised, so <laughs> thanks for watching.